Greetings, Minecraftians. This is Bakayaro, also known as Lorax42. And today I'm going to show you a tutorial about uh, some new features in the latest version of MoveCraft. At least it's the latest version at the time of this video, um, uh, which is the Subcraft Rotate feature. So, uh, Subcrafts are parts of larger crafts that can rotate independently. Now one simple use of this is a city gate. So here we have the shipyards at Emerald Bay, the Royal Navy shipyards. Uh, and here we have this large gate uh, coming out of the shipyards. Okay, So uh, you can easily open and shut these gates using this subcraft rotate sign. Okay, So I'm just going to right click right here and it shuts the gate. Go to the other one and I'm going to left click on this one because I'm rotating that gate left. Does that make sense? Anyway, left click and it shuts that. Okay, very easy, right? Uh, so the subcraft rotate sign, it's just like a helm sign on an airship except that you don't have to command the ship first before you use it. Right clicking on the sign or left clicking also makes move craft uh, command the uh, uh, craft as well. So that starts the detection process. And in this case, I've told uh, it that in the craft file that only these dark wood blocks and those are jungle wood blocks uh, and those logs are the only allowed parts of that uh, city gate craft. Okay. Uh, and I'll include the craft file in the uh, video description so you can look at how that works. Uh, but as I say, you make it so that only the wood that comprises the actual city gate is allowed to be part of the craft, and that way it doesn't flow into or try to merge with uh, the rest of the wood. So this other wood, this spruce wood, and this is oak, um, no, it isn't. That's also spruce. Anyway, um, that is not part of the craft file, and thus it does not try to rotate it. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a very basic function of move craft. That's how all crafts work. All right, so I have these gates, right? Now I mentioned, uh, other than being a simple one-click rotate button, the other point of the subcraft rotate is for turrets, which are part of larger crafts. So here we have an airship that I'm still in the process of finishing up, um, the Goliath. I built this for an upcoming Airship Pirates series uh, episode, and I also used it in my uh, Minecraft physics episode. And this ha uses a lot of these turrets. Okay, uh, So it has small turrets, uh, secondary armaments, and then it has the main battery turrets. So if we get inside here, we see, once again, one of those subcraft rotate turrets. Now here's the thing. My buddy could be commanding the battleship uh, from the bridge while I man that turret and he could be moving the battleship around and my turret will move with the battleship and if I rotate it, it rotates just the turret, not the battleship. Okay? So, you know, I, I just left clicked and the turret rotated left. I can right click, the turret will rotate right, and so on. Um, see how that works? Um, by the way, uh, I'll also have a link to a download version of the Goliath uh, that you can download and play around with. These guns are ludicrously powerful. I love these guns. Okay, I have to do this. Every time I load this up, I have to fire these guns at least once. So, alright, I'm just going to do the main battery. No, I'm not. I'm going to do some secondaries. <laughs> okay, here we go. Turn these things. Okay, last one. All right, it's just some of the secondaries. Now, uh, the this this ship has a high tech fire control system, which is right down here. Uh, you see all these little redstone torches. Uh, as it says on that sign, lit torch, weapon hot. So these weapons are hot, but I'm going to turn them off because these are secondaries, which I don't want fire. This is, as it says on that sign, the main battery in the aft side of the ship. Uh, that, I'm going to turn that off. Turn this off. Actually, uh, no, that one's on. That's, I forgot. Okay, so the main battery is on. Most of the secondaries are off. All right. 
I could fire it from a button right here, but then I couldn't watch it, and who wants that? So we'll go back up here. Okay. So that hit the trigger, and boom! <laughs> oh, I love those guns. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Back to the actual tutorial. Okay, so the secondaries, uh, the, those main batteries, they're pretty complex. Uh, if you really want to know how they work, just download the schematic and take it apart. This is the basic design of the secondaries. Uh, and this is a great turret to put on a ship that you might want to build. Um, it's fairly easy to make, uh, more compact than my earlier uh, Canon designs, which you can see in some of my other videos. Uh, so let's uh, build this out. Let me just show you how you build this. All right, the first thing to notice. So in the turret.craft, gray wool is part of the craft. Orange wool, and any other kind of wool, is not. Also, redstone torches are not part of the craft. Important thing to note, when you rotate these turrets, it rotates around the sign. And back over here with that uh, main gate, I don't know if you noticed, but there is actually a little compartment that I built that basically acts as a hinge that the gate rotates around. Okay, it's that right there. And that's where the sign is because it rotates around the sign. All right, so you need to put that, the subcraft rotate sign, in the center of where you want your turret to rotate. All right, um, and then in order to get the signal, so you usually want to be able to fire your guns from a central point on the ship, a bridge, right? You might have a lot of guns. So in order to fire, in order to get the signal to that uh, turret, it also, the signal has to go up through the center of rotation of the turret. So see how that works? So the signal comes down this wire, it hits this redstone torch, and again, redstone torches are not part of the turret, so they will not be rotated. And then it goes up here, and it gets, goes right to that torch. That torch is what actually fires the gun. And the gun rotates around that torch. Now that switch, if you're manning the gun, you can fire it from this switch, like this. And see how that works? Now, uh, the, the, the way the manual fire works is the first click, when the switch goes down, that puts out the propellant. The second click, when the switch goes up, puts out the projectile. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so so you can have a, a little manual fire. So if there's a guy in here manning this turret, and, you know he's trying to hit things, and uh, so that he can manually fire. Plus, it can be fired from the bridge. Okay. So once again, we have to have this area that we're going to get the signal down. Right, I'm going to do it right here. Oh, whoops. Okay. And I have two redstone torches so that the top one is off. Then this is my wire that goes to the bridge of my airship, right? Okay. So I'm going to put a button on this end. Now, you'd, you'd have a more complicated timing mechanism, but just a button works for uh, demonstration purposes. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see, this should actually be a gray one. Okay, let me turn this thing just because I'm going to keep referring back to it, and I want to see it in profile. Oops, I didn't, ah, oh, well, that's fine. Okay, so let's see. So it goes up there, and then the next thing up is actually a dispenser. Okay, and then the one below, and the ones to the side. Let me turn that music off. Uh, 
Okay. And then this is where the uh, fence is going to be. And then this is where the pressure plate, and the point of this pressure plate is simply to hold the water back. Okay, and we'll put in our water. Okay, put in the sides. Okay, that is the basic propellant mechanism. So when I push this button over here, it activates these two redstone pieces, which activate all four of these dispensers. Uh, and uh, the redstone torch actually activates the last dispenser. Uh, so this has four propellants. You can fire it with two or three or four. If you fire it with two, you'll be able to see the shell when it explodes. If you fire it with three or four, you will not be able to see the shell when it explodes, making it harder to aim. And next, let's work on getting the uh, projectile out of here. Okay, so the mechanism for the projectile. What we... Uh, oh, it's raining. Hold on. Okay, the mechanism for the uh, uh, projectile. What we are actually creating is calling, called a falling edge detector. In other words, the projectile gets dispensed when the signal is going away, when, it's, when it used to be there but no longer is. And the reason I use that, rather than the older method of uh, uh, just having a timing mechanism and having two wires, is to get it down to only one wire <clears throat> so that uh, we can send it down this central uh, path. It also happens to be a little smaller, which is always good. Because, you know, these airships are always limited by their lifting capacity. Okay, so we turn the comparator on. We need one click on this repeater to slow down the signal ever, ever so slightly so that it can be blocked by the signal on this side. All right, then we just need to whoops, we just need to get the signal from back here back up to our projectile dispensers, which are going to be on the front. Okay, there's my projectile dispenser. Now, in those secondary uh, batteries, I actually have um, two projectile dispensers, but I'm just going to do one here. Okay. Now, I just need a repeater right there and a repeater right there. The point of these two repeaters is so that the redstone wire, because if I just had redstone wire right here, it would make these blocks hot, which would activate that dispenser. So that's why these are uh, not, that's why these are not wires. All right, that should do it. Now, I always like to test it before... Oh, let me put in the lever. The manual fire mechanism right there. Okay, I heard a click. I heard the other click. Good. That's what we want. Now let's put uh, the TNT in. There's my projectile. And one propellant. And two propellant. And let's test it. Okay. And it works. All right. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Now the last step is we need to put in the subcraft rotate sign. And that you just put in subcraft space rotate. On the next line, this is the name of the craft that it's going to form when you click this sign. In this case, turret. Okay, and if I right-click this, I see that little wheel appear and the turret turns, which means I know that it worked. Okay, and um, so there you have it. A very simple um, 
uh, turret that you can build and use in your own ships. Uh, it's you would of course typically put a, a shell around it. You know what I mean? Like you'd, you'd put some uh, armor around it, like has been done for these guns, uh, both to make it look better and also so that people can't set you on fire. Um, but there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you find this helpful, and I'll see you next time.